जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम बच्चे वी हैव स्टार्टेड द टॉपिक ऑफ पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड वी वर वर्किंग ऑन दिस ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज़ कॉल्ड पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इट इज़ बेसिकली अ टेक्निक व्हिच इज़ यूज टू चेक द प्योरिटी ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस वी हैव सेड दिस थिंग दैट दिस पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज विद अ सॉलवेंट आर द वाटर ओ एल्कोहल एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू लेबल दिस डायग्राम एज वेल दिस इज कॉल्ड लेड व्हिच इज़ एट द टॉप एंड दिस इज द पेपर ऑन विच क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज गोइंग टू बी परफॉर्म so we are writing here paper and uh, this paper is exactly called as chromatogram okay i have discussed this thing with you already this is called as chromatogram and uh, we have said this thing that in this case this x is converting that itself into 1 2 and 3 spots so x is a mixture c is shifted into one spot it is matching with x its point is matching with x like this so we can say that c is a pure substance because c is shifted into single spot but c is present in x b is also a pure substance as it is shifted into a single spot but b spot is not coinciding in its level with x so b is not present in x if we are talking about a we can say that the spot of a is matching with x so we can say that a and c are present in x but b is not present in x okay now let's discuss further about paper chromatography there are certain things about uh, this you should know the level up till which the water has traveled for example this is the level till which water has traveled is called as solvent front it can be water or it can be any solvent like alcohol so that's why it is called as a solvent front so what is solvent front it is the level it is the distance traveled by the solvent on the paper chromatogram on chromatogram okay whereas here i am spotlighting this this is the depth till which the paper is immersed in the in the solvent okay so this is the depth whereas this line is called as the start line i am mentioning this very clearly this is called as the start line and this line is drawn with the pencil always so if a student is drawing this start line with a pen and examiner is asking that results are not appropriate so what is the answer behind that because ink of the pen being soluble in a solvent will will affect the results will disturb the results will will create the problems in the result hence the students will unable to get the correct results so this ink will make the results incorrect okay now we have discussed about uh, general idea about the paper chromatography there are certain questions related to that as well i would like to solve those questions with you as a past paper session for these chapters and uh, before moving ahead i would like to tell you that there is one thing which is called as rf value here i am writing rf value which is called as retention factor retention factor okay retention factor is a thing which you have to calculate regarding paper chromatography we can say this thing that retention factor is basically a ratio it is a ratio of the distance traveled by the spot to the distance traveled by the solvent i am back on this picture and i am spotlighting the thing the retention factor it is a ratio for example just calculate the rf value of a let's suppose okay so it is the distance it is the ratio of the distance traveled by the spot a to the distance traveled by the solvent okay so remember this thing it is a ratio of one distance with another distance one distance will be measured in the units of centimeter whereas other distance will be measured in the units of centimeter as well both of the centimeters will be cancelled so we can say that there will be no unit for the measurement of uh, rf there will be no unit and remember this thing that there is a specific formula for the rf measurement and what is that i'm writing it on the next page it is rf is equal to rf value is equal to distance traveled by or covered by traveled by spot divided by distance traveled by solvent okay so this is how we are going to calculate the rf value now there is a point that distance covered by the spot is always lesser than the distance covered by the solvent so it means that we are going to divide the smaller distance with the larger value 
इट इज़ ऑल्सो टेलिंग यू वन मोर थिंग दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एफ इट विल बी ऑलवेज लेसर दैन वन ओके वी कैन गो बैक टू दिस वी कैन सी दिस थिंग दैट बी हैज़ ट्रेवल्ड अ लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस इन इन ऑन द पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राम वेर एज ए हैज़ ट्रेवल्ड द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस अमंग ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री सो इट इज़ जस्ट टेलिंग यू अबाउट द सॉलेबिलिटी ऑफ दीज स्पॉट्स इन दैट सॉलमेंट इट इज़ जस्ट टेलिंग अस दैट ए इज लीज सॉलेबल अमंग ऑल दैट्स वाई इट हैज़ ट्रेवल्ड द लोएस्ट डिस्टेंस वेर एज बी इज द मोस्ट सॉलेबल दैट्स वाई इट हैज़ ट्रेवल्ड द हाइस्ट डिस्टेंस सो इट इज जस्ट टेलिंग यू हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द डिस्टेंस हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द आर एफ वैल्यू वी कैन डेफिनेटली मैयर द डिस्टेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए रूलर बट वी कैन डू द थिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ calculator as well so for example let's suppose i am just writing the i am just writing the supposed values okay let's suppose we are saying that this is the distance traveled by a let's suppose we are saying it is 2.1 cm cube okay 2.1 cm cube is the distance traveled by a and now we are looking into the distance traveled by the solvent okay this is the distance traveled by solvent okay i have to rub it okay i need to write draw the big line again okay you can see that this is the distance traveled by solvent so for example we are saying that this is 5.3 cm okay so it means that 2.1 divided by 5.3 will give you the x value which is the rf value of a in the same way if you have to calculate the dist if you have to calculate the rf value for b what you have to do distance traveled by b divided by distance traveled by solvent for c it is distance traveled by c divided by distance traveled by solvent remember this thing that higher is the bigger is the value of rf it is telling that higher is the solubility of that spot into that solvent okay or if uh, the solubility is lesser it means that the distance traveled by that spot will be lesser as well is that okay so this is all about the rf value calculation now now there is one more point which which we have to discuss regarding uh, regarding paper chromatography sometimes the spots on the paper chromatography which are separated after doing this paper chromatography experiment sometimes the spots are colorless so how to shift the colorless spots to color spots it is a it is a specific type of a substance called as locating agent names of the locating agents are not part of your syllabus but right now i'm just telling you the term that is called as locating agent it is uh, i'm writing here as well so i am telling you locate thing agent and what is the purpose of locating agent it is shifting what it is shifting it is shifting colorless spots uh, into colored spots okay so basically locating agent is a locating agent is, is a chemical which is reacting which is reacting with the colorless spots as a result it is making something colored it is making some uh, product which is colored okay so this is how we can identify the substances on the on the paper chromatography on the paper chromatogram okay now there is one more point which i would like to tell you that sometimes examiner is asking how we can spot uh, this a b c and x on the on the on the chromatogram i guess i have told you in the previous uh, video as well but right now i am telling it again it is either a pipette or a dropper which can be used for the for the for the placement of these spots okay this is not called pipette it is pipette actually pipette spelling p i p e double t e okay i will introduce uh, i will introduce you towards the use of pipette as well when i will tell you about uh, the titration reaction but in the previous uh, previous videos related to apparatuses we have discussed about a uh, pipette as well okay so this was all about uh, paper chromatography i would like to solve some of the questions with you people as well so that some past papers practice can be done and uh, you should know this thing that how to solve a paper regarding this how to solve a question re related to this all the best guys uh, see you in the next class with the with the with the past paper session related to paper chromatography allah hafiz